strong. The devil sign law. Aha, Sheriff Hill. I went with notorious Fanny and even made love to old Lulabell. I took the day from that yesterday. Took the 4th of July and put it in June and made leap year jump over the moon. I'm not here to brag, nor here to boast. I can sit on a tombstone and produce baby ghosts. Well, I can even remember the day I was born. It was the day of that great Miami, Florida storm. Release yourself. Here we are yet again. Another episode of No More Popcorn is about to begin. Today we travel back in time to when a legend was born around the age of eight or nine. Shona. Shona. <laughs> well, that's a different movie. Somebody did say Shona. Somebody did say Shona. Yeah, 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 somebody yeah. did. While they were eating watermelons. <laughs> All right, so today uh, we, we watched... Um, uh, P.D. Wheatstraw from 1977, oh, Wheatstraw. Uh, directed by Cliff Rockmore, starring Rudy Ray Moore. Awesome. Are they brothers? Actor. Huh? Are they brothers? Rockmore. <laughs> Raymore. <laughs> yeah. No, Rockmore the and Raymore. <laughs> They're our middle names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> a couple of the director's uh, kids were in this, though. Oh, yeah? the, the little boy uh, uh-huh. that was born well, at the which beginning. Which one? Oh, Leroy. Oh, okay. oh. Him and uh, Larry, the one who Larry, got shot. Larry, that's right. Larry. They are brothers. They both are the director's uh, sons. Oh, that's nice yeah, of yeah, him. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, uh, Patrick, give us a little bit of a breakdown of what this movie is, and then we'll start talking Man, about specifics. Man, this, this dude, he was born as like an eight or nine-year-old coming out, and... He gets bullied, and he wants to take revenge. Old man comes up, teaches him martial arts, but uh, what's his name again? Petey? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wheat Straw wants to be a stand-up comedian. He's like, do I really yeah. want to live this life of yeah. revenge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. I yeah, just wanted to make people laugh. What's yeah. the word for it? Comedian. <laughs> a comedian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, and then the old guy tells him, you know, like, oh, yeah. we can make that happen for you. You know, just never forget to, you know, yeah. uh, not be good to people, the people who are bad and to don't, you. And then... don't take shit from people. Right, correct. Yeah, yeah continue. Yeah. On. So then later, uh, what what what's the two dudes' names? Leroy and Skillet. That's right. Leroy, Leroy and Skillet. Comedy I, legends. Yeah. <laughs> they sound familiar. But, uh, yeah, they're... they're they're opening up a, a club. They they're borrowing money from Mr. White, who's a white guy, and they find out uh, obviously P. D. Wheatstraw the, the, is coming in. Yeah, well, yeah. And, and the thing is, yeah, they're gonna open a club, and they don't want to die. They they've borrowed a hundred thousand yeah. dollars from Mr. White. Yeah. yeah, they can't they can't uh, have the competition of P. D. Wheatstraw coming in because he is a well known comedian right. at this time and. If it fucks but up their show, then they're going to get killed. They by... guaranteed him twenty percent profits. Correct. What 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 confused me about it though? He was going to play the day after they open. Mm-hmm. Why would that affect? They needed their the opening? month because they needed shows the shows then they wouldn't just run for one night. Like yeah. that's why whenever during the interview they were asking, like, "You sure you're not going to have any competition?" And they're like, "We're good for th- at least yeah. three months oh, or okay. more." I mean, shows like that they would go on for. It's not now, just like, now hey, it here's makes our sense. one show okay. and that's it. Now it makes sense yeah. to me. Yeah. All right. So they can't have Petey Wheatstraw coming in doing a show, so they do everything they can to stop him. They kill people. Mm-hmm. Once Petey dies, the devil comes up and makes him a deal. You got to marry my daughter and give me a grandson. Right. But the devil said son, mm-hmm. which was odd. I yeah, that son. is true. Yeah. All right, so that's the gist of yeah. our movie. We, we, we've we got uh, uh, two uh, leading acts in the comedy world fighting against one another. And, uh, you know, 
sometimes the devil, he's got to take care of shit. And he, <laughs> <laughs> he, he wants his daughter, uh, his very ugly daughter, uh, to marry someone and, and, and get impregnated so that he can have, once again, you just call yeah. that a son. A son. Uh, and yeah, uh, all sorts of... Um, crazy maddening shit happened so yeah that's your basic description of the movie now let's there's a lot to talk about in this one so let, let's go back unless you had something you wanted to add no 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 i i'm just i'm about to my nose is like i'm dying <laughs> right oh, no, i'm sorry nathan no, no. is allergic to cats and... go, go, uh keep talking i'll be back yeah. in just a second just keep going keep going so are you serious to cats. Yeah, I okay I no dude i'm face. i'm sorry bro Oh man, seriously, I hope you find the man. man fuck that guy. I thought he took some. I am so fucking God glad. Damn. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's talk about this fucking movie. People before that are allergic to cats are Nazis. I, <laughs> I, I just. I'm kidding. You know, I just. I can't take it. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like, I know you probably don't see it, but whenever he's sitting over here next to me, this is this is what I get. Like, all the oh. time. Caressing. Oh. Yeah. 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 He's Ooh. doing all sorts. And, and I'm fine with it. We're close friends. Yeah. But man, like. Have a little tact. Yeah, not you know? all the time. It's hard for me to like pay attention to what the fuck we're talking about when he's over here stroking my goddamn knee. Yeah, the he knee is the, the most sensual sh- spot. Yeah. 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 He always talks about the weirdest shit too, man. Like he'll whisper weird stuff in my ear. Like the other day, he's like, "Corn cobs." <laughs> Last week, did you catch that? He kept leaning my ears. Like, I I noticed he kept leaning. I didn't know what he was saying. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um. This movie's really good, regardless of what he comes in here and says. Yeah. It was fucking awesome. Okay? I had a great time. And yeah. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Did you find the medicine? I already took it. Yeah, he took it earlier. I just went to blow your schnoz. Yeah, I had to. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I'm sure you guys only said nice things. Oh, it was beautiful stuff. Yeah. 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 Um, (laughs) It's not catching. (laughs) (laughs) It's not cold. Oh, he'll see. He'll see. He'll, he'll, he'll see. see. What'd you do? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You, you oh, can, no. You can sit no. down safely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're good. I sit down in a poo chair. A poo, poo chair? chair? A poo chair. Oh, chair. yeah. We had some poo chair in this There's movie. There's some poop jokes in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, let, let's uh, let's take it from the um, the birth of that of peaty wheat straw. Giant belly. Can we don't we need to we should point out did you point out this is a black exploitation movie from the seventies? Sure, it's I feel it's like a, that it, needs it, to be pointed it's out. It's a right comedy black exploitation at, at at many times I would personally consider it to be a, a dark comedy. I mean there was some rather Kid gets shot. Kid gets shot. Ooh, There's a yeah. whole people coming out of a funeral procession yeah. that get mowed down. But <laughs> yeah. but you can't help but laugh over all this because the tone has already been set straight right. out the gates. It's like an extremely funny movie. So when this shit happens, like it, it doesn't I don't feel like if they intended for it to land is like <gasps> Oh god. When Larry it, died. It didn't really work that well for me. I just thought it was just yeah. funny. It pulled yeah. at my heartstrings when Larry died. Yeah, dude. Yeah. He, yeah, he he just said, I'm not gonna skip school anymore. And yeah. Then, I'm gonna then, play basketball. <laughs> his last words yeah. were I won't skip I'm school not, yeah. anymore. <laughs> and then died. And he died. Oh, what, what, With what? his eyes yeah. open, which were, was actually uh, I found out in the special features was uh really important for some reason for the director he was like die with your eyes open yeah it looks creepy because yeah it's creepier it, yeah. it sets into your soul mm-hmm. that's that's where uh hardball got its uh that one scene where that one kid died hardball yeah i think it was called hardball with keanu reeves he's coaching like this uh baseball team in the hood oh my god I don't, then, I don't know anything about oh this. yeah go <laughs> go look that up and watch that I, it's great i know keanu reeves did that baseball coach movie yeah yeah I, I, I didn't see it yeah this is all as much as me. i love keanu yeah. I, I, I oh, it's one it. oh or maybe I, you know actually i say that maybe i did watch it <laughs> oh, well next week i don't think it was that i think i want to pull a keanu movie for you guys yeah yeah okay yeah it's gonna be on vhs just so you know okay all right anyways uh, yeah, yeah 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 so <laughs> so the beginning of the movie is set up with rudy ray moore doing um this is to make sense of the very first bit that we did there. He does a lot of rhyming, and I think that did that did come from the Dolomite character. I've never seen any of the Dolomite mm-hmm. movies, uh, but I do think that's just something that he does. He is he actually is a comedian in real life. Um, 
So yeah, it starts off with him kind of explaining our story, and then it cuts to you know a thunderstorm, and and you know the ocean's going fucking crazy, and then we see the birth of Petey Wheatstraw. He says and, he remembers his birth. Yes, well of course he did because yeah. he's like uh, fuck because the kid, yeah <laughs> scares the God. shit out of the doctor. <laughs> the doctor pulled a fucking he's watermelon like, out first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, yeah, it's this very <laughs> and then yeah, and then the kid comes out, the Petey comes out, and he's like, the doctor had slapped him. He's like, "Slap me! I'm gonna slap you!" And yeah. he starts, he attacks the doctor, <laughs> and then he attacks his dad because he's like, "You've been, you've been bothering me all yeah. these nights." Yeah, you're the, one, you're the one who keeps disturbing my yeah, sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm your dad. <laughs> So yeah, after that, then that's when he um, he's getting bullied and and he meets the old man, which I, w- I can't remember that character's name. It said it a few times. He but... acted so crippled, but yet he could do like all these boom, martial arts. Boom to I didn't like yeah. think about that. Yeah, yeah, he's walking with a cane. He's walking very slow, and then he's like, "Oh, hey, I'm going to be your martial arts dude." Oh, that's like a, that's yeah. a, you see that in old kung fu movies, like the really? old the old master. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I I, yeah, I didn't personally catch that. Mm-hmm. I did think one of the one of the funnier. There's a lot of stuff in the background, and I mean, you know, like the watermelon stuff and the, and the attack of like, yeah. you know, the the racial climate of that time is very in your face for a lot of it. But but did you notice? Uh, the, there's a scene um, where uh, a Petey Wheatstraw is getting everything set up for a show, and he's leaving this interview with you know with all those people, mm-hmm. and he comes out, and the the guys are robbing him, like oh, yeah. fucking with his yeah. car. Yes, <laughs> that, that so is awesome. the funniest scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, one one of the one of the guys just to touch on this, then we can go back and, and actually you know describe that scene to everyone. One of the guys has on a jean jacket with like rebel flags stitched on it. Did you notice? I didn't that? notice it. No. Yeah, I just I thought little things like that were like that's kind of funny, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know, <laughs> considering you know what that uh, the undertone of the movie with yeah. black exploitation film is supposed to supposed to do. But yeah. I did. I loved. I loved that whole scene where he he walks out and he sees them burglarizing him. He's like, "God damn it! This is why we can't have good shows because you junky motherfuckers, you know." And he just takes <laughs> yeah, off chasing I mean, him. And it goes yeah. into like the Three Stooges kind of a bit. <laughs> yeah, like they're chasing him and it speeds it up, and they and then they you know that that sped up pace and they run. Mm-hmm. They do circles around this shed and, and they, they end come up in back. different orders. Yeah, like, at yeah. one point, like the bad people are chasing him, and then it'll go back to him chasing them. Yeah, that that's pure three stooges. <laughs> and then there's you know two of them are carrying like the back seat of the car. Oh, well, with the God. woman, and on they it. run in yeah. and they catch the woman on the seat, and she's just screaming, and she's that, on the seat. Yeah, that it's woman so is good. great. Yeah, yeah, I I love. There's a moment whenever they're all confronted against a fence, like he mm-hmm. catches up to them and. <laughs> she's she's standing she, to the side. She's leaning up against the fence and her just ah! yeah. <laughs> ah! Ah! You know, like, it just fucking killed me, man. Oh my god. And Rudy Raymore, you see, you know, he come out he comes out with this training that he has as a child. You know, these two guys are mm-hmm. attacking him. He's just it's it's very clunky. <laughs> like, mean, it's like we did it. Yeah. Yes, it is. It, is. It's it, very, like, it very much is. It's like our fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and it, you know, on top of all of this, I do think it's really entertaining, and it's a good thing to mention, or something important to mention, that like you've got all those like old sound effects over there, yes. like boing, 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 oh yeah, you yeah. know, like just and stupid they're, shit. It's they're like they're punching in the face, and it sounds like somebody's like beating a leather chair like it's just like this <laughs> <laughs> yeah like it's it, yeah and they're obviously i think they're intentionally doing it because i know that oh, yeah i know that uh the black community at that time they were really big into kung fu like mm-hmm. like chinese kung fu movies hong kong movies mm-hmm. and you clearly see that influence there like this sort of spoofing of that but also appreciation of it but you see like oh, sure. like when they're getting together and they're like you hear the grumbling like yeah. like mm-hmm. you hear this kind of stuff and they're like you know they're doing this shit it, it's it's yeah I, I really like that no it's absolutely really i mean i mean even though you know this is you know a black exploitation film it is first and foremost a comedy yeah, yeah. which is i think am i correct on this is the first actual comedy that we've done like well, intentional comedy, yeah, like an, like an intentional comedy. <laughs> well, uh, um, no, well, the no. stuff is a. Com- I mean, it's a the, um, the stuff is a brain comedy. damage. Yeah, ah, I don't yeah. think so much with brain damage. Dark uh, com. I mean, that, it's I'd it's say. a dark comedy type thing, and you also have yeah. a 
What's the other one that the guy from Rain Damage did that we watched? Uh, and the water, we, I mean, Holly, oh, well, Hollywood, Frank, 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 Frank and Hooker. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Q, yeah, yeah. Q, okay. I mean, yeah. I don't think Q was. Oh. I really don't. I mean, this, this, I guess that we're going to dive into something that could be hours worth of conversation. What is comedy? No, tr- it's true. It's true. Because it, yeah. it is just as subjective as horror. Like, like when are people actually trying to be funny when they're not? It's kind of yeah. hard. It's kind of hard to decipher that, too, with the majority of the kind of movies that we watch. But I mean, when when you do look up, oh, this is straight up comedy. Yeah. Yes, I mean it has is, action, but it's it's, right, it's really to lend to the comedy, yeah. really. right? Sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but anyway, that that was I didn't really think about that until now. That yeah, I, I guess this in Frank and because Frank and Hooker is clearly right. That's clearly a comedy. Uh, anyway, yeah. So um, uh, Leroy and Skillet. Um, I wish I would have taken the time to look up and see if they are an actual comedy or were an actual I mean, comedy. They group. were, I like they they were credited they as Leroy and yeah. Skillet. That's oh, why. Were they? That's okay, why I okay, wondered okay. that. Yeah. yeah, I liked those guys a lot. I thought they were, especially. Um, oh God, which one was which? There was the one that always had his his britches up like super. He was Skillet kind of, was the dopier one. I he think. was the dopier. I, I loved so. him. Yeah, I thought he was fucking hysterical. Like anytime he would just move. <laughs> Shut I up. thought it was funny. Oh my god! At the beginning, <laughs> with Rudy Raymore, I, I'm actually kind of surprised you guys didn't laugh as much. Like when I was watching this last night, you know, for the first time, when it got to that part where we're in in the okay, so we're we're in a comedy club. This is the very fucking beginning of the movie, where you know we've already established uh, um, Pete he, Weestar is now. now is now a comedian. And he's delivering jokes, stuff. He talks about this woman's big ass. He's like, look at that big ass, you know? And oh my God. And and the and the woman's man, you know, says, oh, you can't talk about my woman like that. And he's just like, shut up. Shut <laughs> your fucking old great, like something or other. But just when he, his stone cold face of the shut up. And then just I lays lost into it, him, man. Yeah. I fucking lost it. <laughs> Thank you. Ma, 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 what an ass. Always like women with big asses. Some ass is for need, but this ass is for cleanage. I see we have another comedian in the house. You still got a lot of ass, mama. I'll say one thing, if this place would catch on fire, they'd tell everybody to haul ass. You would have to make 10 trips. <laughs> hey, man, you can't talk to my woman like that. Shut up. Shut your ugly, old-time, ancient ass up. If you say one more word to me, I'll have that lady take one of her titties and beat the shit out of you. And I ain't lying either. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I am what I am, and I'm going to be the very best of what I am. And for those who don't like me confidentially, I don't give a damn. I'd like to thank you for letting me be myself. Thank you. His delivery yeah. is fucking brilliant. <laughs> it's like quick and hard kind of. Very yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, and it is. It's very quick. Like you know, Just something that, you know, if any, any Joe Schmo would say, like, Oh fuck you, bitch, or something like that. It's just not funny. But the way that he does it, like, oh fuck, like when he, okay, when the devil, you son when Lu- of a Lu- Cipher is like uh, showing him the picture of his daughter that he wants him to marry, and he's like, oh hell no, man, <laughs> like, no, kill, me. Yeah, yeah. kill me, yeah, kill me. I married that she, ugly bitch. She, <laughs> she oh could God. chase away. A bulldog from a meat truck. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this is a good one. Stuffing cupcakes. Place the butter in a large cast iron skillet over medium high heat. Cook whiskey until brown, but not black. Flex appear. This is brown butter. Reserved one fourth cup for drizzling over the top of the cupcakes before serving. Note, if using bacon fat or lard, simply heat the fat in the skillet before continuing the skillet with step three. Where is that peaty wheat straw? Hey. Ah. Hey, yo, yo, de- yo, devil. Yo, devil. Oh, yes. Hey. Uh, yes, me peaty wheat straw. 
Um, I know. Yeah. Where are we at? We are in my lair. You are in hell. <sighs> Sorry, sir. Uh, I acknowledge this is your home. and I, uh, Hell? Yes, you died. You were uh, gunned down. Don't you remember? Oh, that motherfucking skillet and Leroy! Skillet and Leroy. They killed me! They killed my act! They are two of my favorites. Skillet. Oh, and yeah? You think they're fucking funny? Hilarious. Oh, goddamn man. But you have potential, Petey. <sighs> and we could perhaps make a deal. A deal? A deal with the devil. Ah, uh, no, nah, come on. Seen way too many movies like this. What do you want me to do? Impregnate your daughter or something? As <laughs> <laughs> a matter of fact, yes! Yes, I do. You see, PT, I need an heir. I need an heir to my hellish throne. Well, that's quite a throne you got going on. And I believe that your large black dick will be the one to guide hell into the future. Well, you're bringing up some, uh... Yeah. My daughter, yeah. My daughter is young and fertile, mm. Mm. and she is willing. But is she hotter than hell? She has qualities. Well, as long as she can take all twenty-four inches of my qualities, then I'm good to go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you said that. Yeah, yeah. Here is my love. God damn! Fuck! Nope. Deals off. Deals off. Deals off. Fucking kill me. Slice my throat. Fucking kill me. Mm -mm. You know what hell's really like, Petey? Jesus. Well, I'm, I'm starting to get a glimpse at it. Ah, listen. She's a butterface. She's a butterfly. This is this is just the upstairs, but the downstairs is she, she's got some, you know. She's got some she's got a little bit in the back, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well fuck. What are no these? other options? We can't little... meet in the middle? You know? No, you definitely Maybe not. I can just go down. I on definitely your need you to Fuck my daughter. All right, so what her if... pussy and shoot your load ah. deep inside, very deep inside, so that she is impregnated. I've got a hell of a deal for you. All right. Andy Dick sucks my dick, takes my load in his mouth, <coughs> spits it in your daughter's vagina. It'll work. Everyone's going to love it. Let's sign it. Let's do it. We're done. No. Good deal. N nobody loves Andy Dick. I loved it. I also... <laughs> You know, you were kind of, because at the beginning, during his, during his little rhyming mm -hmm. thing that he was doing, he said something along the lines of, like, I could sit on a grave and, like, impregnate oh, yeah. ghosts or something. I, I can sit on a tombstone and make baby ghosts. That's what he said. So you thought he was jacking off on graves. I mean, what what do you mean, make baby ghosts? He's just saying he's super virile. Yeah, super yeah. fertile, right? Yeah. Yeah, so he's just jacking off. No, I, I think you're saying, just saying that like, I could it. sit here. Yeah, he like, could just sit Like, there. take it more literal. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's actually saying he's jerking off onto the, <laughs> onto the graves. I just wanted to point that out because so, I, I always like so to think now, of... So now he, he is just fucking dead people. No. That, that, that makes it better. And just jerking off on a tombstone. No, he's just sitting now, on a tombstone. Now, now, now he's fucking dead people. Man, you're taking this. He he's had the powers of the devil. He could do whatever he wants. <laughs> this is true. He could even make popcorn uh, rain down on people and somehow make it look like stuff. Like there, there's nothing. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Is there anything that happens in that scene where he has the cane and he's sabotaging Skillet and Leroy's show? And, and yeah. is there anything that indicates other than you just 
trying to think logically what can this possibly be he's standing there doing this and things start exploding and, and stuff starts falling from the sky and you're just like i think it's supposed to be snow yeah. but you don't see yeah. anyone at, at least that i caught like indicating that that's what it's supposed oh. to be hmm. i think it was just maybe it was just them hey like, we got these machines we're just gonna have stuff we'll make down. it look as crazy and chaotic as possible because they had like they had the like the the things on the tables were exploding. Yeah, and I think it was just to make it more chaotic. Yeah, but yeah, I, I don't know. I I loved him. Uh, so so he has the devil's cane. He's agreed to marry the devil's daughter, and the devil's like, oh, here is this basically at your disposal. You know, until the wedding, and he'll he, give you special powers. Give you special powers. Basically, anything that you know he wants, he can make happen. Um, so. You know, Leroy and Skillet have been trying to sabotage his show because uh, PD won't back down. He won't he won't cancel his show or schedule it for another time so that it doesn't impede on Leroy and Skillet's. Because they had already thing. ripped him off before. Correct. Yes, they already owe him money and all this other good stuff. So it's basically been it's become a war between these comedian clans you got leroy and skillet and their gang of goons and you've times got, were rough back then yeah <laughs> you've got i wouldn't use the word clan though huh i wouldn't use the word clan what's that <laughs> 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 they've got their group of 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 comedy oh. minions <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they're kind of uh, battling it out and this is where you know um the Leroy and Skillet guys, they've got uh, uh, Scarface Willie and, and all That's of their guys. That's what his name was, Scarface Willie. His name was Willie. Yeah. He's got a scar across oh, his they face. Did say something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember he's like, I want to get that Scarface Willie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so okay. they, they send him out to, to do the deed because Petey's not backing down. So that's when, um, you know, the kid gets shot and then we're at the funeral and everyone's Larry. leaving the... Uh, leaving the church the gang shows up mows them all down Petey goes to hell meets the devil devil gives him this you know proposition and now he has the cane i just thought that was kind of important to to bring up because we we sort of people might be like what the fuck are you talking about cane fucking the devil's daughter what are you talking about so anyway he's trying to sabotage their show he's back from the dead Mm -hmm. okay and uh um he's making it snow in here He's making them Leroy and Skillet. Well, yeah, the better thing was him, him, him having them like say shit about yes. Mister White's wife. And... Yeah, yeah. So I love the whole it? bit about like you can't fool me. It's a fucking blue bed sheet. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> talking about his wife and her dress. Some about crossing her legs and strangling. I, I think he was saying that to to him, mm-hmm. right, to Mister White. And I'm I'm confused by it too. I don't really know what it meant, but. Yeah, like if you don't cross your legs, you're gonna strangle yourself to death or something like that. I didn't know if maybe he was saying like she needed to cross her legs because it smelled so bad. Oh, like hmm. that's funnier. That's probably what. Uh, uh, that's that probably that what was, was my only guess, but yeah. I couldn't remember exactly what he said. But yeah, that was pretty funny. He was putting putting words in their mouths, getting them to say shit, and then the one they they get off stage, and the woman, the another woman comes out to sing. And she's in the middle of her song, and her face, her her voice <laughs> fucking, goes all, uh, yeah, and then dress her fucking wig down. flies off, and her dress comes off. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Still a bit confused. Okay, I, knew, I knew you were going to say something. <laughs> I, was like, I, was, I was looking at your face. I'm like, <laughs> I was his like, ears is are Patrick turning. Patrick high like... right now, or is he thinking? I don't know. So, <laughs> Thank you. You were like. So they have the funeral uh-huh. for Larry. Mm-hmm. Okay, they get shot up. My boy Larry. Anyways, get shot up. They leave. Devil comes up, makes the proposition, and then it makes it look like he turned back time. That's so, exactly what it was. Yeah. So why didn't Scarface Willie and the other people get reversed? Yeah, I don't think he literally turned back all of time. I think he just made it. It, they, it was just a way for them to make it look like, okay they're alive now because mm-hmm. they all remembered it they're like what what the fuck was that shit <laughs> you know like, yeah well especially they, they only but everybody it with one character but yeah. yeah the one guy was like you know but everybody as, else still had the memory of and killing why are him. they like so accepting hey i met the devil i got his cane and they're they're just 
Because oh, they, okay. they all believe in Jesus. Oh, no, they didn't say okay. They were, they were like messing with the yeah, devil. Yeah, they didn't say that's business. a bad idea. So they're already accepting the fact that... Well, they all the believe thing. in God, and they all they experienced dying. They all remember dying. So Man, it's... I want you to go blow your fucking nose. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. That's, that's my issue with this. I love the fact that you bring things like this to the table. I I uh, I question your motive. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes. My, <laughs> yeah. my motive. I feel like you're out to get us. You're motive. you're working on a on a new channel. You're, you're you're not the one. You didn't make the movie. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying you're yeah. against. You're against no more popcorn. You're 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 How branching off. L- listen, man. Let's just move on. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah. I, I I love the whole scene wherever he he's you know got the cane he's walking yeah. down the street and he's just like basically helping people or granting people's wishes he got mm-hmm. money raining down he takes the uh, they really attack fat people in this movie a oh, lot yeah. <laughs> which is I mean it's, oh, the, the it, really, which is the really, great yeah the uh, really fat girl she was dancing on the lawn chair yeah and then all that mad, all of a sudden well, she's skinny I yeah, that, you know that I, if you're a yeah. wino you're worth nothing other than being exactly. buried in the ground. I find it I personally I find it refreshing because nowadays you, you can't make any kind of joke like that it's considered fat shaming oh I and agree you're, yeah. and you're I like agree, yeah. you know you're it's it's akin to racism now to, to make a fat joke I, no I mean I thought it was fine I wasn't bringing that up for any kind of like mm-hmm. deep conversation I'm just saying that of of all the people attacking this, it's it's fat people and winos. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, winos. Yeah, you're you're not a you're not a human being if you're a wino. <laughs> I love when they when when Flava Flav is is walking through that graveyard. <laughs> kind of looked like Will I Am. That's what I I was thinking. Yeah, oh, yeah. But he was acting more like Flavor Flav. Yeah, because he had this big green glasses on <laughs> that guy was hilarious he was he it's did, like I mean, the the subtitles yeah. don't even know what he's saying like Correct. you notice yeah. that a couple times in the movie yeah. it just says it's, mumble yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'll just put some dirt on him he's fine yeah he's just a wino I, I thought that was great because i i've always you know i mean i i don't know i can't act worth a shit but you know when i was in high school i was doing some of that stuff there there was a play that i was in that uh, like a you know one of my fellow students had written Mm-hmm. And there was a part where I was supposed to act drunk. Yeah. Now, I mean, I guess it might be different now that I'm like of legal age and can actually drink, you know, because I yeah. was in high school. I didn't really do anything like that that much until like my senior year. But anyway, I think the whole thing of like acting drunk and making it believable is probably pretty hard. At least it was for me. I couldn't really. It's what ever... I've always heard. It's, it's I could... really hard to act drunk when yeah, you're not I, drunk. I couldn't nail it. But what I think was good about that is that no one. I mean, there are some people I'm sure that get that get that fucked up, but that was like oh, we met me and him no, met yes. one. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 If you guys want to share the story, you're more than <laughs> well, to. Uh, we it, it, we don't well, need to share. Okay, okay. No. <laughs> we just met the most fucked up person I've yeah. ever had a conversation with. Oh. But anyway, all I was gonna say is I, I like the fact that I feel like it's it's like hey, if you can't hit it right on the head, if you can't make it believable. Just take it a fucking step further. Oh, like, overact. Be, be yeah. so, so fucking belligerent mm-hmm. and obnoxious, you know, yeah. that it becomes funny. You know, you don't care if it looks real. But yeah, I, I did. I liked that guy a lot. I thought he was funny. And he gets kicked in, or he falls into a grave and then uh, uh, Petey and uh, whatever the other character's name is come by. Petey just wants to, like, kick dirt over him. <laughs> he's, 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 cold. he's like, I'm cold down here. Help me. I'm cold. And he's like, well, you're cold because you kicked all the dirt off. <laughs> Let me help you. <laughs> yeah, and even his buddy's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" You know? He's just, uh, it's just wino man. Yeah. yeah, and then they, and then that idea of uh, kidnapping, drugging up right. another wino. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Petey wants to get out of yeah. his deal with the devil, so they kidnap a wino and drug him, and then they put a Petey a mask, mask a on Petey him. mask on top. <laughs> God, of him. God, I, you know, because this movie does have it, its its quote unquote horror elements. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, the most I think, horrific thing was that mask. Yes, it was. <laughs> if anything in this movie was supposed to be considered even remotely scary, it's that fucking face, that that prosthetic mask they, that they made. They spent all the budget on the exploding watermelon truck. <laughs> like, <laughs> actually, do you want to know how much that whole truck? Li- I know you're not really necessarily concerned with this. I thought this was funny. How much? What? Well, how I much that whole well, truckload of watermelons cost? Two hundred dollars. One dollar. <laughs> 
what? Just I all... bought them all for one buck. Wow. Man, that's a, And the special features, one of the guys was talking about it. He was like, yeah, he was like, we thought it'd be funny, and it, it was cheap, and why not? <laughs> so just yeah. the watermelons themselves were $1. Or just yeah, not the truck. I'm gonna say <laughs> like I didn't like the explosives or obviously not the just, truck. Just the watermelons. They bought yeah. all the watermelons for a time. Talk about the overall effect of blowing up the watermelon. I don't know about that. Okay. Now I just feel. I mean, you, you I mean, want to bring this information? I mean, you know. Well, I can only I can, I can only retain <laughs> what I'm given. You know, they didn't they didn't go into all that. The, all... the financial leader of the movie wasn't a part of the special features. All those watermelons. <laughs> And it was only a dollar. A lot of that watermelons. That is crazy. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm assuming they were spoiled like, and shit. And someone was just like, "Yeah, get this, get these <laughs> fuck out of here." Like you want them? Sure. Just here, give me a. They buck. they looked pretty bright. They didn't look soft and mushy. What how many inners? How do you know? <laughs> what do you, what? They had the nice sheen to it. Mm. They looked hard on the outside, the exterior. I mean, I have a nice sheen to me, and I look exteriorly hard, but I'm soft. And the inside. I mean, it gets. I'm soft worth nothing inside. more than a dollar. No, the, if the outside <laughs> is soft, then it's not ripe. It's 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 bad. Mm-hmm. Those those looked right. Okay, yeah, I guess I guess yeah. they just got a hell of a deal on a <laughs> shit ton of fucking watermelons. I had somebody give me a watermelon for a tip one time. This guy was actually selling watermelons. Dude, I would. It, yeah. He was like, I don't got any money, but here, here, take, here, boy, take you this watermelon. And I was like, okay, yeah, so. Did you ask if they were seedless? No, I no, I didn't. Uh, mm-hmm. But I did put it on the counter in my place and leave it there for like, and I never ate it for like three weeks. And did then it disappear. Well, it it oozed. <laughs> it came out of someone's. Womb. It just like oozed this viscous fluid yeah. all over the counter and then down dripping everywhere. It was mm-hmm. really gross. It was yeah, gross. yeah. So maybe it was what they were all those that kind of watermelon. Could be I. I Easy. had some watermelon a couple of nights ago from the Kroger down there. It's pretty good. How much one of them cost you? You get a bucket of melon. This is no, this is cut for you. <laughs> cut you get for you. Cantaloupe. Can't even dig my face into it. All right, you get cantaloupe. Yeah. Honeydew melon yeah. and watermelon. All three. Yeah, all three. About six bucks down there. Kroger. See, see. Or see, what, fuel what a steal they too. got. Uh, Pre-cut. You don't even need a sword to cut it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I told you guys earlier that, that there was um, uh, like a, a, a ghost thing. I just thought this was – I thought this was a really interesting story. I almost just kind of wanted to show you guys this bit of the special features. So that, that building top that they were all on towards the end whenever all the demons are, are fighting with, you know, Lucifer and Petey Wheatstraw. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently that place I, – I think from what they said it was like a hotel or something – and that it it did have a reputation of being haunted. There was a, I think it was like a. Where was this filmed? I honestly don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and imagine it's probably like L.A. Okay. Or somewhere, somewhere. I think yeah. I've heard of this hotel. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> uh, there was like a a wrestler or something that had been mur- like he was dating a girl who was a prostitute and she killed him. Now this is like a, a apparently this part is true. The haunting mm-hmm. thing. I mean, obviously, you know, we can't proof anything like that but uh you were but, watching and, and ghost hunters when i came in today i was not i was watching top chef which i'll be honest with you is scarier than ghost hunters <laughs> um, <laughs> um so <laughs> less sequin sequin jeans though you know yeah and doesn't that dude in ghost hunters he wears like the jeans with like the fucking embroidered crosses on the back and shit it's the only jeans Stuff he wears I, tap out I was watching one of those shows, and I don't, you know, I don't remember which if it was that one or there's been like a dozen of those, but they were like they were in an abandoned, an old prison, I think, and they literally showed a a ghost, and it was somebody under a sheet. And you literally... Oh, the, where it ran towards the camera? Yeah, and, and then back. it turned, and you could literally see fucking Gene in a sneaker, like, <laughs> underneath the edge of it as it turned Kid and Rock, cut is that away. You? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, you're just going to leave that in there? Oh like, my God. you could edit it. Edit that shit I out. Lo- I love the shit about the supernatural <laughs> world. I love like bounce because I do. I'm one of those people. I constantly bounce bounce back and forth because I'm not a very religious person. Mm. But part of me is very intrigued on the on the uh, you know thinking about like oh maybe after you die you know you might 
Yeah, and we come like you know like a fucking squirrel or something. Now we're like, <laughs> like you know, yeah. like, like hanging around. Like, hey, this this place was actually pretty cool. I don't want to leave my apartment. There's a lot of good movies here I can watch. You know. Yeah. Um, so was there a baby ghost? So this, this we'll just go with wrestler because, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's what it said. Uh, it got murdered by his girlfriend, and apparently he would just like stand at the end of this hallway uh, on the second floor, and it just looked creepy. Apparently that's that was it. So one of the they had a bodyguard or security guard rather. I'm sorry that no one in the special features thing talked any good about. They all fucking hated this guy. <laughs> And let's go down on the second. Floor. Yeah, well, yeah, well the, guy, we the guy who He's played uh, the guy who played Satan, uh, they apparently had him in his costume. And they're like, "Oh, we're gonna fuck with the security guard because everyone knows about this haunting thing." Oh, so the security guard was taking the stairs downstairs, and the dude who played Satan or whatever was trying to scare him, and the security guard turned around and fucking fired his gun, <laughs> and it went through his hair. Oh that God. big fucking wig he had on, yeah. it just went through oh his fucking hair, God. so he almost fucking died. Wow. <laughs> if we're, like, if we're trying yeah, to make this prank. scare guy with a gun. <laughs> don't do that. That explains that, that wrestler-style outfit he was wearing then. <laughs> yeah, it actually might. Yeah, I thought it looked more like Elvis. Oh, yeah, the pants part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all I could think was like WWF comes, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Down, yeah. You got the, yeah. You, yeah. the super deep V showing the belly button. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of pube at the yeah. bottom. A little, little pube. Some yeah. bedazzles. Just a little bit of bedazz- bedazzled pubes. <laughs> um, no, overall, though, I, I, I got to say, I, I, I thoroughly fucking enjoyed this one. Um, like, a hell of a lot. Oh yeah, loved it. I, I, I do. Just just for the sake of what we're doing, I always kind of like try to force myself to find something to nitpick about. There were a couple of times where I felt like it, it was a little long. Like, um, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, and it doesn't have a long runtime. I mean, it's just over an hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, but there were a couple of parts I was like, eh, they could have could have trimmed that down just a little bit. Um, do you want to get into ratings now? Do you guys want to talk about that? Sure. sure patrick you want to let's start off with you i don't think you ever start off the rating system oh thanks about time Nathan, i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> time's up um, motherfucker shut up probably gonna give this shut up <laughs> i'm sorry, gonna make dude. that woman sl- get one of her titties out and slap you in the oh face. wait wait <laughs> yeah <laughs> We wait. We, yeah, we didn't talk about oh the fucking the bachelor night, the I, bachelor party. Oh no, yeah, yeah either. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to jump the gun. Oh on, on, yeah. On the, on the end, I was just. We kind of had a moment of silence there, so I was like, "Should we just go for it?" Yeah, let's keep talking. No, yeah, <laughs> okay. we needed to. Yeah, yes, yes, I forgot yes, about yes. that bachelor party. Oh, yeah. Man. All right. So, so the devil uh, is in a jogging suit. He's, oh, he's, he's loving life. Right. Right. It's really loving weird. Life. Yeah. Yeah. It, it absolutely makes no sense. So, but this this is the night before uh, Petey is supposed to marry his daughter, mm-hmm. and uh, the devil is running up towards a club where Petey's at with his friends, and he goes in and he says he has a surprise for Petey, and he has to take him away from his buddies. Uh, you know, this whole time, Petey has told him, like, oh, I'm going to be meditating. A- meditating for a period of time. It's what my dad would have wanted me to do. So before the wedding, I have to be meditating. This is where the whole mask comes into play. Yeah, the wino. Right, so, and how yeah. they're going to be yeah. um, deceiving the devil. Um, so, yeah, Satan takes him out of there, and he's like, oh, I got this place to show you right up the street. You want to take it from there? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he just brings him into this room. It's like all... It's in like Plush and red. Shack it's all set yeah. up. There's a fucking hunchback in there. Yeah, and he oh, chases God. away. Yeah. He like beats away. Uh, like he's like, get yeah. Out, get Actually, out. I kind of, I kind of retract maybe about the mask being the scariest thing. Because <laughs> yeah. at first, at first, I thought that nowhere. was the daughter. <laughs> when that yeah, person, right. I'm like, holy get out, shit! Bitch. He wasn't kidding. That that is, uh, that's one unfortunate looking woman. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so he's like, I, you know, I got a present for you. You know, snaps his fingers or whatever, and then you have all these a harem of of devil girls, devil yeah, yeah. horns, and then their lingerie lounging about, <laughs> and then it just cuts to like this it, weird montage, and you see his face turn, you, you know, <laughs> smiling, and then you just see legs in the air, uh, and he's like going down the row basically, yeah. 
And and what I was as I was laughing, I was thinking, that's exactly what I would do, sir. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was, it was, it was, he like he like his head goes yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, like, it's, it's really great. It, it's just like basically he's like he's like trading on and off. Yeah. So I'm gonna fuck this one, go down on the next one. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, and then yeah. alternate. It's... And then they're chasing each other around the yep. room once again with that sped up. Yeah. You see his dick at one point yes, for like I thought half that's a what second. I, really, I didn't catch that. Yeah. It's very it's still rewatch it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like at the beginning, man. <laughs> Then I'm like, why does he have underwear on? Yeah, he was naked yeah. the first yeah. shot, and then he had underwear on. Maybe they were either like, it's too much, PD, or maybe he didn't have as much packing as he wanted to show. I don't know. I don't know. I feel bad for Nell after talking about that scene, though, you know, because Nell, he, she's yeah. wanted him the whole fucking time, Nell throwing and... herself at him. And then he, he tells her at one point where he basically <laughs> caves in. May He's not like, be okay, as bad I'll as fuck what I you. Think. It might not be as bad as I think it's gonna be. <laughs> like this dude has a has a set of nuts on him. Like went he... <laughs> right through her too. She did not face her at all. No, she was she ready care. to go. Yeah, she was She's ready. Like, fuck yeah, I'm good. Oh, okay. But there is like I don't know how many, eight, ten women. I think he basically fucked him to death because half of them with their eyes. Were yeah, open. most of yeah. them were laying there with their eyes open like they were dead. Mm -hmm. and, and it makes me think that because you you mentioned the thing about him saying the kid, having yeah. the kid having his eyes open. So, yeah. and then he made some comment about I forget what he said, but basically, yeah, PD, I gave it to him. The you know gave it to him good, basically, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was awesome. Yeah. All right. So that's more food for thought yeah, for, for yeah. you. Uh, yeah, let, yeah. Let's let's hear Ratings. your review now. Are your rating now? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to give this about about a. I'm gonna give it a five buckets of popcorn. That's what I'm gonna give it. Okay. Yeah. Was it was never a dull moment. Very very funny. Great action. And I don't know what their budget was for the whole thing, but it was all in all a well shot movie for sure oh absolutely yeah, yeah i mean uh, the um yeah every scene i think you could you could tell was like oh this is the way we wanted to do we didn't have to take any cop outs yeah you know i mean with with your prosthetics and shit with some of the mass that's where your right. cheap stuff came into play but it's what you expect to see um from even a movie just in general from that time you don't really expect to see much more than that right so. right yeah let me go next yeah sure yeah i love this movie i i love the character that the i love the swagger character like that that's a good just word the, for it, yeah. yeah just the um the pure the pure confidence and, and no matter what i'm gonna get one over on the devil <laughs> fuck it somehow it's you know somehow it's gonna happen uh and just the the humor i i like I, I like that the, that time frame where you could say jokes like that and, you know, yeah, they're offensive jokes, but we all get the fact that they're jokes, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. The white guy is it, the, 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 one of the bad guys, this evil financial guy, you know, he's the white guy and he's named Mr. White. It's it's like, mm -hmm. and then you got, you know, the, all the watermelon jokes and all that shit. I, I really appreciate that stuff. Cause you just, you can't see it anymore. It, it doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, it's very, it's very like, blazing saddles kind of a thing right. you know, where, where it's like oh let's just poke fun at every stereotypical thing yeah. that's going on that mm -hmm. none of none of them gave a fuck about you know what i mean yeah. well i'm sure they some of them may have been affected by it but they're still like oh we can we can still have fun with right this. and this this movie was like you say this is a this was purely a comedy and it was actually intent it, we were laughing at it at the jokes that they intended it wasn't yes, us right. laughing at it right. being a yeah. bad movie yes. it was actually good right now the action was kind of you know it was a lot of flailing about yeah. and that was laughable it was kind of cheesy but it was still entertaining and funny uh so I, I would definitely give this five buckets of popcorn I, I feel like this movie was like it's like the movie that Dave Chappelle was conceived to. I don't know. It's it's <laughs> like, <laughs> which no, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, I do think that he he, I think that Dave Chappelle is still in his own way, kind of trying to put himself out there as like I'm still I'm not afraid, yeah, to 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 go up against what people 
are saying is is okay to do and what's not okay to do. I mean, that guy's always been risky as shit mm-hmm. with his comedy, mm-hmm. and and I I I applaud him for it. And I you know I can sit here and talk about this shit all day and night. Obviously, I, I'm I'm not a black guy. I don't know what it feels like. You know. But, God, I wish I was. I'd be so fucking cool, man. <laughs> yeah. These dudes are so cool. Like in this movie, the suits and the froze, like Petey amazing Weedstraw, suits. His facial hair with his. Fro. Oh, yeah, man. He's just a cool motherfucker. I love yeah. it. I, yeah. I, I, yeah, it's all the style, man. They get all the style. No, absolutely. Well, I, 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 I was just I was just going to say, I mean, like I, you know, I, I don't know, obviously, what it's like on that side of things. I, You know, there's no way that I can sit here and act like I do, but. I don't know. I guess, I guess to just maybe we're of a different breed or a dying breed or something, you know, like where it's, can we not just separate the con? I don't know. This is going down a track. I'm just saying mm-hmm. like, I, I appreciate this style. Like you were saying, I appreciate Dave Chappelle for doing what he's doing. I, I think it's important to kind of keep that shit alive where it's like, Hey, this is just, there are assholes fucking everywhere. Let's just kind of take a minute and sort of laugh at what the hell's going on from time to time. Yeah. Uh, and all that to say that I, I definitely, um, yes, I give this a five. Um, has this been a first for all fives? Uh, I don't think so. I think we've had a couple, oh, Okay. but it's been a minute. Yeah. It's been a minute. I, I, I almost wanted to give it after a... all the controversy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I still have that on my phone. I, uh, I almost what? wanted to give it a four and a half and, and I feel like, I feel like I'm kind of biased by not doing it. The only reason I initially wanted to do a four and a half is like I said, I do feel like, uh, it, it, it feels mm-hmm. lengthy at times. It, yeah. It, it I does. felt the same way. I, I still, I, I felt that the movie just, it overcame it, you know? Right. That, yeah. I guess that's why I'm sticking with the five is it's like, overall, I feel like that is sort of a very small complaint, uh, you know, to, to put on, it's like, I oh, just, you know, go to the, fridge and grab a fucking beer and come back and you'll be entertained again you know what i mean like yeah. so yeah, yeah yeah definitely five so all across mm. the board yeah i do have to say obviously rachel wasn't there to watch it with us tonight she was fucking loving it though we only got about halfway through it mm. so the last half of the movie this is the first time watching the latter half but she uh she thoroughly fucking enjoyed it cool yeah. awesome so awesome. so we'll go ahead and say that even though she she's never a part of this well four she gonna say four four five no we're gonna say four of us all four of us had oh, five buckets that's of 20 okay. that's yeah, yeah. 20 buckets <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of popcorn <laughs> um so you said next week that you're thinking about mm-hmm. dropping a keanu reeves yes baseball movie no this no no, is no, a no, terrible no, no idea not not the baseball movie Okay. okay, thank you. It's still Keanu Reeves. It's like one of his first movies. Oh, I, I remember, remember this. Yeah. I don't remember what it is, but I remember yeah. you talking about it. Yeah. Okay. King of the Hill did a spoof on this movie with... Uh, let me let me look this Sneak up real peek. quick. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Patrick, go ahead. Pull out your phone. I'm... We're only doing a review... No Phones are killing, <laughs> killing our culture. Oh, I was trying to do a rhyming children. thing. I was trying to. Oh, yeah. killing our culture, you vulture. <laughs> I'm trying to nurture a show on YouTube. You, yeah. you boob. Pornhub.com <laughs> is in your phone. You it pull is. it up when you're alone. Lindsay says, hey, babe, call me back. You say, I can't. I'm too busy. Fat, fat, Got a whack, whack, whack. <laughs> that rhyming ain't too. We could do that. That was pretty good, right? We could do it. Yeah, yeah we could rhyme all the time. Yeah. yeah. It'd be fine. If we had enough time. I <laughs> think. <laughs> maybe it would, maybe it would be fun. <laughs> Get in the fridge, ah, grab a lime. Okay, found it. Yeah. Oh, you found ready? it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's gonna be Little Buddha. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Where Keanu Reeves is the Buddha. Little Buddha. Yes. Uh, the premise. Okay, you could pull up a picture of the, of the cover. I'm sure yeah. later. The, Let me the, see. The premise of it is they are trying to find the new Dalai Two Lama. Two hours. Ooh. It's on Ooh. VHS. What is it? 
two hours <laughs> on VHS. Well, of course, it's two hours. It's on VHS. <laughs> Runs faster. So yeah, the, yeah. The the premise of the movie is these guys, these Buddhist monks, are trying to find their new Dalai Lama in the present time. Well, <clears throat> they're explaining this to this family. They think the son is the Dalai Lama. And then it goes back to where Keanu Reeves is becoming the first Dalai Lama. Like, he was created. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, hopefully, it, that hurricane, if that hurricane doesn't come, I'll miss that. And then... I actually might drive down to Florida <laughs> just so that I can miss it. <laughs> I'm not set on it, but I might do it. <laughs> Two hours. I, yeah, I that scared got, me. I got surf ninjas, too. Surf ninjas. Yep. Oh. Now that one, I know. I know. Oh. Uh, That's specifically that you and I kind of mm. disagree a little bit on this one. The last time that I watched Surf Ninjas it was just a few years ago. Yeah. Believe it or not, <laughs> I felt embarrassed for the movie. I got that Dude. secondhand embarrassment feeling. I, di- I didn't get the nostalgia feeling. I didn't get like, oh, because I did. I loved that movie as a kid. Yeah. And when I watched it, I was just like. I can. I don't know. I don't know. I, just I can weird. quote the shit out of that movie. I love that movie. That yeah. movie is dear to my heart. I absolutely. So, what's your some quotes? I adore it. Seriously, if you don't want chives, I won't put them in. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> and they're fucking Rob Schneider is talking about. I have this great power. I have this. He believes he has this power if he says something, it happens. Mm-hmm. Because he said something and randomly it happened. He's yeah. like, oh, what if I lose this power? Oh shit! I lost it. I had the power, and then I lost it. <laughs> he like goes to this thing. He's like freaking out over losing the power because he said, "What if he lost it?" Uh, yeah, and uh, um, no, that's good. Continuing, I... <laughs> <laughs> as we know, money can't buy knives. Oh, money can't buy knives. What if we, what if we run into a rubber plant? Oh, I, money can't buy knives. Continuing around the rubber plant, we continue on our journey to Patusan. <laughs> I have a feeling if I bring that over, Nathan is just gonna be quoting the whole entire. No, I don't movie do that. I know from that's beginning annoying. to end. That's annoying. I don't. Do I'm that. just trying to figure out: are we? Are we? Already... I'll be laughing uproariously, and, and Brian will just be like rolling his eyes. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I'm just wondering: are we already scraping the bottom of the barrel that much? Where it's like, hey, what are we gonna do next week? Oh, I don't know, guys. Maybe three. No, <laughs> we surf ninjas. Remember, we talked about <laughs> yeah, doing our we, childhood favorites. And yeah, that was one. That, that was one I wanted to do. Yeah. That All was right. One of them. Now you know All if right. we do that, we, we're gonna oh, have to. If we're doing that, I got I got some other ones. Well, then. I was gonna say we are gonna have to incorporate Rachel because that was kind of her idea. Oh was, yeah. And you guys are gonna have to suffer through the Page Master, which I love. I love the Page I Master. Enjoyed it when I was terribly a kid. boring movie. Yeah. See, it's I awful. you know yeah. I, I I I liked it. I... <laughs> I'll let you guys know. I mean, I... it'd be funny to have her get really mad at me when I'm, I'm just like... Oh, no, she wouldn't get mad. As a matter of fact, I don't really think you'd ever even actually have a chance to speak. She'd be like, yeah. and, 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 then, and, and, you know. But there is a lot of really cool hidden imagery in that movie. There's like a lot of swastikas on like the, in, in the library and stuff. You'll see them like... Oh. Well, now I'm in. All right. That's all I, it It's took. a goal of mine to always bring up something Nazi-related. <laughs> Seems it, like it's a goal of everybody now, so... Yeah, yes. Oh, you just ruined it for me. <laughs> like, he is, he is, no, you're sorry. right. You're right, yeah. Nathan is drinking a German somewhere, beer there. So, yeah, I've, I've been drinking German beers. <laughs> somewhere <laughs> some ass fuck is going to watch this, you know, like, years down the road and be like, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, so, I would be a fan. Huh? They'd be a fan. <laughs> we... <laughs> I ain't going Some much Schindler list Subscribe jokes. people yeah. <laughs> Like subscribe <laughs> We ain't proud We'll we'll do all kinds of jokes Okay we'll Do about anything we, yeah. uh, That's true yeah we're, we're, we're no more popcorn Fuck you Shut up Shut up Shut up Sweet holy fucking shit, my mom! You want me to fuck no, no. my mom? God, I want to be clear, Petey. Oh, no, Petey, that's my mom. Petey Wheatstraw. 
that, get this picture. that is not your mom. That is my daughter. She just looks exactly like your mom. Uh, but, I don't know what kind of picture you're taking of your daughter, but I know my mom's no. vagina, and that is that. No, no, no. Your mom, no. your mom doesn't have the ass. That ass. No. My daughter has got the ass. And she's got them big. She got the big natty hangers that. That flop, when you, you hit it from behind, that flop like this. Yeah, yeah. That sweat. I can smell the sweat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn. All right, all right, all right. All right. Fuck. Oh, I don't know. They lactating? Lactating nipples? Once you impregnate my daughter, they will definitely be lactating nipples. All right, well, we, we have to decide. Very on long, man. very long nipples. Mm, those, um... Um, there's an evil like, nipples. Like pinkies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like pinkies. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. yeah. Don't, like, don't ever like the, cross nipples. Yeah, you don't ever. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alright, what's the fucking name? Uh, I'm thinking something kind of like modern. Something a little bit, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, keeping up with the times. So I'm thinking the door frame. Door frame? I was, I wanted to go traditional. Oh. Like, uh. Demarcus. They what? Deshaun. Who marked us? Exactly. <laughs> uh, listen, you're 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 putting me against um, a pretty hard decision here. Do I want to die? No. Would fucking that make me want to kill myself and die? Yes. Very very tight. I guarantee. Like, uh, uh, like, uh, like confirmation type? Like, like Vatican type. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm. Epstein choice type. Mm. All right, and what if, I, what if I don't? What if I don't? You read that one really long old book about hell, all those layers of hell? Mm hmm Yeah, you're going to go through yeah, all of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's going to be you. You're talking about Tolkien, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mountain Dew. Yeah. You say Mountain Dew? Mountain <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew. You're going to have to climb to the top of Mountain Dew. <laughs> Mount Dew. Mount Dew, do not mock me, Petey Wheatstraw. I know you're a comedian. Welcome to Elijah's Woods in the Forest of Whitaker. <laughs> Mountain Dew. All right. I will fuck your daughter. And I will have your... Son? If it's a daughter, we'll just... If it's... Well, yeah, I'm drowning. And then start over. I'm not sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tempura. Tempura, baby. Yeah, tempura, <laughs> baby. <laughs> As is traditional in hell. Oh, of course. A, if you have a daughter, you yes, have a tempura, yes, baby. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that goes down to the, the gluttony layer of hell. You, you take mm. a tempura, baby, down there. Mm. And then the, all those... All of those, uh, uh, all those nuns that aborted babies have to eat the tempura baby. Right. Yeah. It's part of of all the women I've been with is Petey Wheatstraw. Petey Wheatstraw has fucked so many bitches. I've watched. I, and I've, I've never seen. been able to find. You know, I found the clitoris. I found the bean. The bean and the clitoris. Yeah, yeah, yeah the bean. Both. You yeah. also find the, the man in the boat. Uh, I've never been able to find... That one's harder. <sighs> Draw me up a map. See, if you... You go around... You go around this... The deep... Deep delve here. Mm. And you go down... Yeah. And then there's this... There's this crease... That runs this way. Mm -hmm. And then you got the one that runs this way. Right. You, you take a left... Take a hard left. Oh, God damn it. And then you do a little U-turn. You lost me at the it's labia. Like, it's like right. Right, yeah. It's 
Right next to... Okay, well, here's the Stink Star. Yeah. Here's the Point of No Return. Yeah. All right. Here's the Tickle Glands. Yeah. It's it's before the G spot, mm -hmm. but after <laughs> the. I got you. Yeah, I got you. That, that one. All right, I'll tell you what, Satan. I will have. I will let your daughter have my baby. Still good. Good. Yeah. Good. It's yeah. Deal. Yeah. You made it. You yeah. made the deal. You had my daughter. You agreed to it. All right. So what happens now? Can I just like go up there and do my comedy show? Yes. All right. <laughs> just to remind you. <laughs> what you can be looking That's forward right. to. Yeah, I've got Pornhub. You just leave that here. I'll be fine. Um. Yeah, peace. I'm going to show her how to lose some weight. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>